Welcome to our Laravel tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many newcomers to Laravel often encounter. Our viewer is trying to figure out how to retrieve the last inserted ID after executing an insert query using the Query Builder. They shared a specific SQL command that works well for them, but they're looking for a Laravel-friendly solution. Let's dive into this challenge and explore how to effectively get that last inserted ID in Laravel. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution that you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully get through to that resolution. Let's get started. To retrieve the last inserted ID in Laravel after executing an insert query, we can use the DB facades insert method instead of select. This allows us to get the ID directly. After inserting the record, we can use the insert get ID method, which not only inserts the record, but also returns the ID of the newly created record. If you want to insert data from another table, you can use the DB table method with a subquery. This allows you to insert data while also retrieving the last inserted ID. Finally, make sure to handle any exceptions that may occur during the database operations to ensure your application runs smoothly. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To get the last inserted ID in Laravel using the Query Builder, you can execute an insert statement. First, insert your data into the current survey table by selecting from the survey table. Then, retrieve the last inserted ID using the query variable. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To get the last insert ID in Laravel using the Query Builder, if your primary field is named ID, you can use the insert get ID method directly. If you're using PostgreSQL and want to retrieve an ID from a different sequence, like product ID, you can specify that as the second parameter. For more details, check the Laravel documentation on the insert get ID method. And that's it. I hope that helped find the resolution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.